Hi, I'm Julius Howlett. I'm a systems engineer at Spectrologic in Boulder, Colorado. And today I would like to discuss auto drive cleans. Now whether you're running an archive or a backup, it's important for your environment to stay clean. A tape library has a combination of both data as well as cleaning tapes inside. And the cleaning tapes can be allocated such that they're only used to clean the drives when they get dirty. The heads inside of the drive sometimes collect pollutants and need to be cleaned periodically. How this has been addressed traditionally is that a host system that orchestrates all the backups or all the archives will issue a command to the library, to the drive rather, telling it to take one of these pre-dedicated cleaning tapes from its data storage environment and load it into the drive and clean it on a truly, literally, periodic basis. Every 50 hours, every 100 hours, whatever they've configured over here in the software, they will go ahead and clean it at that interval. The problem with this is that sometimes this interval may not be concise or very streamlined for this particular environment. What if this environment requires more cleans than, say, 100 hours? If that's the case, then you're undercleaning your drives, and they're more dirty than they need to be in order to reliably restore or even back up data. So what if the interval is too short? What if you're cleaning it every 50 hours and say it's 100 hours is more suitable? If this is the case, then you may be overcleaning your drives. You may think that's no big deal, but what is a cleaning tape? A cleaning tape is just like a regular tape, except the ferromagnetic ribbon inside is much more coarse than your usual data tape. And it's like sandpaper on the heads of those drives. So the more often you clean it, the shorter the life of that drive. So what are you doing if you're overcleaning? You're basically shortening the life of those drives prematurely. So Spectrologic has come up with a system that helps address this issue such that it doesn't have to be orchestrated by the ISV or the software. We can take care of this whole entire duty of cleaning these drives on this tape library side. And the way we do it is with a thing called auto drive cleans. Once configured, Basically, we make a partition that separates that cleaning media from the data storage backup environment. And we'll take those tapes from here, and when the drives request a clean, that's when we clean them. Because nobody knows it needs to be cleaned better than the drive itself. So whenever a read or a write command is completed over here, and a tape has been moved from the mouth of the drive back to its slot, instead of issuing a finished move back to the host, what we will do is we'll take the cleaning tape from the partition that we created, the cleaning partition, and move it into the mouth of that drive and clean that drive if it meets the two criteria. First of all, the drive has to report that it's dirty or not clean after it's finished that, that read or write command. And then it has to have not been cleaned in the last 12 hours. If those two criteria are met, we'll go ahead and clean that drive. If, however, it's reporting that it is dirty, but it has been cleaned in the last 12 hours, we won't clean it. And of course, if it reports that it's clean, it's not even a question. We'll go ahead and just issue a move complete to the host, and it will complete the move. This is a much easier, much more streamlined, and a more direct access to the drive than using the software uh, to take care of this, this solution. So let's go ahead and find out how we can do this at the interface, the blue scale interface. To configure your auto drive clean partition, simply log into the blue scale front panel as either a super user or an administrator. And navigate on the left down to configuration. The top icon under configuration is partitions. And here you'll see the partitions that have already been configured into this, part, into this environment. Go ahead and hit the New button, and you'll have the choice to choose LTO Clean. And it'll default to Clean 1 as the cleaning partition's name. 
The next screen shows you how many chambers you can assign to this. In this case, we'll just choose one, which means 10 chambers. Go ahead and uh, advance to the end and just hit save after you see the summary. And what it's doing now is it's allocating a number of chambers, in this case one, to basically take on a special kind of TerraPak called the maintenance TerraPak. It has a special label on the front, and this is what's going to hold all the cleaning tapes that will monitor that partition. So there's our cleaning partition. Here's our data partition. And what we need to do now is to edit the data partition so that the cleaning partition is assigned to that data partition. Go ahead and hit the edit button on the data partition. Hit next until you go to the screen that prompts you for the number of storage chambers you want to put in that data partition. At the very bottom, there's this little selector for the cleaning partition. Choose your cleaning partition and hit next once again until you hit the summary at the very end. Then hit save. So now we've got the cleaning partition assigned to the data partition. However, there are no tapes inside that cleaning partition yet. We need to do that by the simple import process. You simply import tapes the same way you would if you'd imported tapes inside the regular partition. Simply go into the general tab, hit the import export icon, and choose the cleaning partition. And hit go. And now you can hit the import button, load your maintenance tear pack into the tap. I'll hit stop importing since that's my last one. And once it puts it into the chamber that's assigned to the cleaning partitions, moving forward, it will automatically and routinely monitor the drives inside that data partition. So as you can see, it's very easy to leverage SpectraLogic's auto drive cleaning partition to use maintenance tear packs in a combination with cleaning media to ensure that your drives have a greater longevity and that operations run more smoothly.